<laughs> I got people, I swear. <laughs> people that don't ever go to courtrooms don't see this. I mean, they normally, I, I guess with YouTube, maybe you see it more, but this, these are things that behind the scenes cops see every day when we're dealing with shit bags. And I mean, this guy's the type of guy that I used to like to go after. Uh, just no respect for society, etc. So there's two news articles I want to cover about a couple people in trial here. This judge is very, very patient with this guy. I've seen a lot of judges that aren't this patient. So do your job not to worry about me. That's what I'm saying. Well, I worry about me. Look, he's got a shaved head and tattoos. Rick, why are you all? I'm just pointing out the obvious here. You worry about your self. That's Bryce. <laughs> you worry. So he's talking to the judge. Rhodes talking to Judge Charles Cunningham. Rhodes is accused of shooting Chris. So he killed this poor black man. Christopher Jones, then stabbing to death two witnesses, 14-year-old. Killed two other black people. Larry Ordway and 16-year-old Maurice Gordon. Rhodes has already been through two attorneys and is now asking for his third one to be removed. Two attorneys wants his third one removed. That's a common ploy for career criminals. They know every time you fire the attorney, you have to get time, delays. You don't have to go back to the regular population. You get transported to and from the jail. It breaks up your day. Going to court is fun for prisoners because it breaks up their day. They get to go in there. They know they got nothing to lose. I'll just ask you, why do you keep refusing to get this man off my case when we keep having problems? Do you have something personal against me? To wow, he sounds very articulate. Look at that. He's got those smart looking glasses on. Wow. You don't want to move him? No, sir. I have something personal against not providing you. Notice his hands are by his face because he don't want to hear what the judge is saying. Effective assistance of counsel. Judge Cunningham says he has already called the state public defender's office. They had struggled to find someone who could. Every attorney I see with a bow tie. Um, well, never mind. Whatever. People will be calling me a bow tieist represent you and that basically Mr. Griffiths is what they've got. Rhodes once had to wear a face mask. <laughs> Rick, why are you not sending you? Whatever. Ask because he spit <laughs> on an attorney. I write the bar social and the ACLU. Oh, that's going to really scare you. Wow. Wonder who told him that. He's going to write the bar association. Hey, dummy. The bar association is run by lawyers for lawyers. They protect lawyers. You write them, they're going to laugh at you. But whatever. You know, I write them, you know, I see what's going on, you know. Fair enough. Let's get us a date to come back. No, I ain't going to find out, though. This, the, a lot of judges would have taken this as a threat and maybe wanted a, a charge added. This judge kind of blew him off. This is, a, I don't know if I would take this as a threat, but he's implying. You're going to find out real quick. <laughs> Promise that. The exchange. Promise that. Shit, you take that motherfucking shit to motherfucking bank, yo motherfucker, shit, bitch hell. Now, this is the mother of the two kids that were killed. Now she wants justice. Every other time they want to blame other people, now they want justice. James angered the grandmother of Ordway and Gordon, who were... Oh, grandmother, I'm sorry, mom's not around, or maybe mom was... Whatever. I won't say, because I'll offend somebody, they'll be crying. But... Maybe she'll see her kids at visiting others. This is going on for four years and, and, and nothing's been done. Now, this one right here is truly a victim. She's trying to raise or take care of her grandkids. They're dead. And now she has to come back to court because the DA and the prosecutor is like, we need you in court. The jury needs to see you. We need to know that you're care. So she's having to drive, take time if she's got a job, off work, uh, Gas money, uh, getting to and from the courtroom, parking, whatever. It's a pain in the butt when you get caught up. Even as a witness, she's not even a witness. She's just, you know, she, she may testify in the sentencing phase, but they want the family there all the time, and it's a huge inconvenience. Four years is a long damn time. She later apologized. The judge is, he's, he, he, like he said, he wants everything dotted. He wants to do it the right, everything's done the right way. Regardless of what Mr. Bryce Rose is saying in there. But she... And she don't like him. I think she don't like him because he's... Maybe he's half black and she don't like him. It's racist. Remains frustrated. He's just playing the system. This guy got some big old noggin beating on the back of his head. He's playing them. He is playing the system. She's right. Happens all the time. Okay, another case I wanted to look at real quick is uh this case. So this dude killed a couple cops. And he don't give a shit. 
Now you notice the shirt don't fit, button don't close, it's wrinkled. Every public defender or every attorney that represents their clients, they always have, they used to have a donation run to give your old clothes to the public defender's office so the poor prisoners could have something to wear when they go to court so they look nice. So he puts a shirt and a tie on and then he laughs and said, yeah, I killed those motherfuckers. Shit, I should have killed more. <laughs> I kind of like this dude's attitude. So that's why I said, sometimes I identify better with crooks who are stand up and they are who they are. They're not lying. They're not fake. They're not phony. They are who they are. I can respect that. Right in the head and kept shooting. Even though the man you see smiling and smirking has officially entered a not guilty plea, Luis Bracamontes has sounded like anything but an innocent man. Ladies and gentlemen, now step out of the hallway. Those patches look like Sac Sheriff. I think they are in Sacramento. That's Sacramento County Sheriff. Hell, I may have arrested this dude before. I don't know what his name is. But an innocent man. Ladies and gentlemen, now step out of the hallway. Yeah, they're fucking dead. I don't fucking regret that fucking shit. He don't give a shit. Luis! You don't care. It's cool. I get it. <laughs> that was part of his expletive-filled rant on Tuesday inside a Sacramento County courtroom. The Mexican illegal immigrant with an... Ex illegal immigrant? Tell me it ain't so. All those people come here to just be productive members of society. We need to welcome them. It's not their fault. He's laughing. Yeah, I killed those motherfuckers. <laughs> Good, you get what you get. Open the fucking borders. Extensive criminal history went on to say he should have killed more cops. Back in October of... <laughs> he should have killed more cops. <laughs> He's going to be a hero in jail. 2014, when he gunned down Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Danny Oliver and Placer County Sheriff's Detective Michael Davis Jr. I will break up soon and I will kill more. <laughs> Look at this attorney. He's like, dude, I'm trying to help you. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine having a client like this? You're sitting here trying to help him, and he's like, I'll break the fuck out, and I'll kill more. <laughs> How do you plead? Not guilty, motherfucker. Yeah, I shot those motherfuckers. I'm not guilty. Fuck you and his system. I, I, I kind of like this guy's attitude. He is who he is. His lawyer even admits his client pulled the trigger. So why is the Bracamontes trial to decide his guilt or innocence moving forward? Here's why we're still in the trial. Mark Reichel is a well-known Sacramento attorney. Whether he shot them or not is not the issue before the jury really anymore. What's before the jury is, was he insane at the time that he did this? His lawyers allege Bracamontes was high on meth during the killings and didn't know right from wrong. Oh, he was on meth and he didn't know right from wrong. Oh, he's a victim. Oh, we should like give him a monthly thing he can identify as a uh, victim for meth user. It's a new disease. It's a new gender, maybe. But Judge Steve White has rejected a not guilty by reason of insanity plea and has ruled Bracamontes is competent to stand trial. He seems pretty competent to me. Legal experts say that doesn't mean his lawyers can't play that card anyway, positioning their client for the penalty phase. For due process reasons in our kind of, in our developed criminal justice system, it may be difficult for people to grasp, but we want to punish guilty minds that understand they're guilty. Yeah, due process. That's that thing that they ignored on Patriots on January 6th that they locked up, didn't give them attorneys, put them in isolation, and kept them locked up without due process for a year because they were United States citizens fighting for the Constitution. Now we have an illegal who's saying, I killed him, I'm going to break out and kill more, and... Our left-wing system says, uh, we got to give him due process. Yeah. And you wonder why America's in a freaking shit toilet. What happened here? Did I mute him? Oh, I guess it just went away. Guilty minds that understand they're guilty. I guess they muted whatever he said. All right, we'll end out there. Just a couple case behind the scene court cases. This is kind of standard every day. This is normal routine. Some people are going to see this go, oh, my God, I can't believe there's somebody like that. There's not just somebody like that. There's a whole bunch subculture of people like that that most people never run into. All right, we'll end that there.